This is Richard Vorder Brugge. He's an FBI image analyst, and this picture was presented as evidence in a bank robbery trial in 2002. And this is an image of the bank robber from a security camera. He never removed the mask. The FBI found the plaid shirt Vorder Brugge is wearing in the house of the man on trial for the robbery. The FBI compared these images taken in the FBI's lab to the security camera footage of the robber. And they added these arrows, allegedly pointing to matching patterns in the shirt. At the trial, Vorder Brugge told jurors that the shirt taken from the defendant's house was an exact match to the one in security camera photographs. Vorder Brugge even claimed that there was only a 1 in 650 billion chance that two shirts could match so precisely. Give or take a few billion, he said. If it sounds preposterous, that's because it is preposterous. Independent forensic scientists told us that shirt pattern analysis is a totally unproven technique. And there isn't even a database of shirt features that would allow the FBI to calculate probability of a random match. At the bank robbery trial, the prosecution presented days of circumstantial evidence, but the FBI's shirt pattern analysis was the only evidence directly linking the defendant to the robberies. The defendant, Wilbert McCreeth, was convicted and sentenced to 92 years in prison. Hey, I'm Lucas and I edited this video. Shirt pattern analysis is just one of several unproven image analysis techniques that the FBI uses to get convictions in criminal cases. If you want to read the whole investigation, go to propublica.org.